to download the model sim software you are going to go out to a website that is by a company called Altera and the address is www.altera.com now Altera is a company that makes field programmable gate arrays or programmable logic devices and they were recently acquired by Intel but their website is still or they still operate as Altera now Altera provides uh, the software free of charge uh, for smaller designs so that engineers will use their devices and, or, or can take their de designs and actually target their devices so what we're going to do is we're going to come out to uh, Altera's website and you're going to come down to design tools and then you'll see this thing called Cordis Prime and Cordis Prime is the overall design package uh, <clears throat> and this is going to allow you to take VHDL designs and actually you know check their syntax uh, <clears throat> simulate you know you can uh, synthesize you can do all sorts of stuff to actually put the design onto a field programmable gateway gateway but within this package is a tool called model sim <clears throat> and model sim is by a company named uh, mentor graphics but Altera has a version of it and so they call it the model sim Altera edition and what we're gonna do is we're gonna download the free version of this so what you can do is <clears throat> the way that you, that I would recommend doing it is to get the Cordis software itself because within it you're gonna actually have model sim as one of the options and so it'll actually come as it come as one one big install what's nice about that is that when you install the Cordis software it'll allow you to actually take your VHDL designs and actually use model sim to simulate their functional operation but it'll also then allow you to use the Cordis tool to synthesize it and actually put it on a, a programmable logic device okay so here's how you get going here you're gonna come along and you're gonna say uh, Cordis prime design software uh, hit download <clears throat> and what you'll see is you'll see three different versions here we want the light edition which is free license uh, no free no license file required and go ahead and hit download on that and what you're gonna see is this download screen and it's gonna ask you for what release you want and it actually does run on Windows and Linux so I'm just gonna get the most recent release and I'm gonna do Windows <clears throat> and I'm gonna do uh, you can do this download manager or you can do direct download <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is the so direct download will actually give you a zip file and you can d download the individual files or you can do this uh, this download manager so I'm gonna do the download manager and it allows you to to <clears throat> select the individual files let me see this direct let's see here so back to download manager and under individual files <clears throat> you'll see that the software you have is there's two programs one is Cordis Prime and that's the synthesis tool that you take the VHDL and put it onto a device and then there's the model sim Altera uh, starter edition and that's going to be the simulator that you'll use to simulate your VHDL while you do this though there's also these files that you might want to download uh, that are device files and the devices are families of field programmable gate arrays or programmable logic devices <laughs> and you don't want to get all of them but what I'd recommend is just to support some of the stuff that we're doing Cyclone 4 and Cyclone 5 are very popular devices so you're gonna see those a lot in uh, some of the laboratory experiments that you do and they're you know they're a gig and you know it's 1.5 gig for them but you need those device drivers in order to uh, allow the Cordis Prime tool to synthesize for that device. So what you should do is go ahead and get all of this in one chunk. Get Cordis, Model Sim, Cyclone 4, and Cyclone 5, and then go ahead and do download selected files. <clears throat> now you will be asked to log in. So they're gonna you're gonna have to create an account, but it's free. So if I come along here and I try to put this on my my desktop it'll start up here and I've already <clears throat> logged in so what it's gonna do is it's gonna say total download size 4.74 gig remaining so it's a, a huge download <clears throat> but uh, once it gets down there what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this Cordis light setup Dot exe when you double click on that it is going to install everything so it'll install Cordis it'll install model sim the drivers will be automatically installed so there's really only one install to actually do okay so we're, what we're going to do is let's take a look at let's assume that I've downloaded it and in, installed it and let's take a look at what will happen once you start model sim so this is what model sim looks like you're going to come under you know your start menu and and go under Cordis Prime Starter Edition and you'll see Model Sim and you'll start the program and it comes up and it look it's very you know 
it's not very flashy it, this is exactly what it looks like and what we do is once we are ready to start creating VHDL designs then we can come in here and start a new project and, and actually run through the compile and the simulation step but until for now go ahead and download this software uh, onto your own machine if you'd like and then uh, we'll get going with actually seeing how you simulate